Hello everybody. In today's video, I will show you how you can use a SARF table with IDA in SAP. The abbreviation IDA stands for Integrated Data Access. That means everything takes place in the database, such as aggregation, filtering, grouping, and so on. This reduces the load on the application layer. So the fastest way to display data with an SARF IDA are to create an object, in my case here, O SARF IDA. Then, or this is a CL SARF GUI table IDA, create. And here we pass only the table name. So in my case, I use today the table as flight. And after this, we want to display the data. And I do this with the command OSARF IDA method full screen method display. So with this code, we can display CDS views as well. And I have created a video about this. Very just two lines of code to display data in an ALV grid. Okay, so activate. And then we call the program. Here we see the displayed data records from the table as flight. So next we want to create uh, some uh, select options. I want to select the carrier uh, column. So for this, we write here data LV care ID type of S care ID. This is the data type you can found in the table as flight. Then the select options S care ID for LV care ID and start of selection. So, and then we want to read these selections in the code. So how to do this? We create an range object with data O ranges is new CLSARF range tab collector. And then we read the selection with O ranges at ranges for name. Here I type the column name, care ID, and then I pass the uh, parameter IT ranges. And here I type the select option as care ID. Okay, and then I write here O ranges get collected ranges. Here we have to pass an importing parameter called ET named ranges. And then we write here our internal table IT range pairs. So in this internal table E are the select options stored. So let's activate the code and let's run the code, the program. So we we set a breakpoint here on the full screen display, and then we do the selection LH for Lufthansa, for example. Then we run the code, and then we do a double click on the internal table IT range pairs, and here we see one entry carrier sign I equals LH, so include LH. And then we display the data, but we see the selection don't work because on the column ID, carrier ID, we see all carriers, not just the carrier which we have selected. So we go back because we have forgot something. We um, have to add the selected IT range pairs. And we do this with OSARF IDE, set select options, 
And here we pass our internal table IT range pairs. Then activate again and let's call the program and check the code. Type here LH. And now we see the selection works. We only see the LH records. Okay, next step is we can add and select selection range manually. For this, we write here or we create another internal table. I name it IT man ranges is value if self service types. named ranges and here we can set the range manually for example name the name of the column currency for example then sign i use here e for exclude option equals then low value is Japanese yen and high value is empty and I want to exclude the Japanese yen from my currency column. So let's activate the code and let's run here without a selection and let's see here we see that Japanese yen is displayed but it should not because we have to add the manual range to the internal table IT range pairs so let's append the entries of this internal table this single entry so append lines of IT manual ranges to IT range pairs activate again and now it should work yes it works we don't see any Japanese yen entries okay so we can add some conditions as well. For this, we create another object. I call it O condition. Is O self IDA condition factory. And now we can add another parameter here by O self IDA set select options. And the parameter is called IO condition. And here we can add a condition, for example, covers pattern. And I type here the name of the column, for example, plane type. I only want to display entries where the plane type pattern is a star A380 star. So just the a380 planes so then activate and let's run the program again okay we go on with f8 and we see here just the plane types a380 so this is a type of filtering and we can add as much conditions as we want. We have only to write here the OR or AND condition. So I add here another condition and I write here OR condition. And now I use the equals method, not the covers pattern. And here I write OR the seats max is 140 so i want to display the a380 plane 
planes or the planes where the seats max are 140. And here we have the result. We see the A380 planes and the planes with the maximum capacity of 140 seats. So that was the condition that was at the conditions and we can exclude columns as well for example the total column here so for this i call the field catalog method then the get all fields method so with osalf ida field catalog and get all fields importing parameter ETS field names and here we do an inline declaration with data IT field names. So in this internal table are all possible field names of my database table stored. And now we can delete the columns which we do not want to display. So delete IT field names where table name, for example, is payment sum. So let's activate. Okay, the column was visible. Or we do a double click on the internal table IT field names. Okay, 13 entries. These are the possible column names. And if we press F5, so one step, then we see, click the payment sum entry is done, but it's visible. So we have forgotten one command. We have to set all available fields. So I call the command here OSARF IDA field catalog set available fields and here I pass the internal table IT field names. Okay, now it should work. So activate and run the code again. Okay, we set a breakpoint here on the delete statement and we double click on the internal table IT field names. We open this, we see here table line payment sum. We go on with the debugger and now the entry is deleted and we see the column is deleted here as well. Um, next we can change the label for the columns. Here we see for the care ID, we see only the, the label ID. And now let's change this with OSARF IDA field catalog and set field header texts. Then we type here the column name we want to change. It's care ID. And then we can set with the next parameter the header text. And here I type car carrier and next we can set the tooltip. We can set here a new tooltip and that type here carrier as well. Then we activate the code and run the program again. And now we see here first column, it's not ID, it's carrier. Yes, so if we do some filtering here or some new sorting, always a new SQL query is triggered every time and we only need memory for the visible area here, which we are displayed, which we have displayed, then yes, um, every time we fetch some data, new SQL queries triggered as I 
said before, no internal table with the whole entries from a select statement. And yes, so at the end, as always, don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and write something in the comments. Take care and see you in the next video.